It's Melpamine Tuesday. I'm Melpamine and today's topic is a more Hyrule orientated game. So I was browsing the Zelda Universe forums and I came across somebody who wanted a more Hyrule orientated Zelda game. And they wanted to find out more about the customs, the NPCs, the side characters, the royal family. And I thought, I thought about it. And I thought, yeah, I'd, I'd like that too. I think having a system like Majora's Masks where the NPCs have a system to adhere to would be way better than just having them stand there and do nothing. They say their lines, that's it, that's all they're there for. And some NPCs in Twilight Princess you can't even talk to, they're just there for show, really. In Castle Town, like at the market, seeing NPCs in villages progress over time could also be a fun experience for the player. Using rupees to upgrade villages, shops, or individual houses could also be a great idea. Because, especially in Twilight Princess, I always had too many rupees, I couldn't do anything with them. And there's that house in Kakariko Village where you, you pretty much burn it down really and I was hoping that you'd be able to use rupees to fix that because you fix a bridge and I thought the next thing would be this person's house I mean you never even meet the person so I don't know why that house was even there except to burn it down really this person also wanted to learn more about the royal family I think it's a great idea I would love to be able to interact with them in a more personal scale instead of having the castle blocked off to you the whole game you could you could just work with them to defeat this evil in their land you could go to them find out what's wrong kind of like Ocarina of Time you keep going back maybe the castle even has rooms for you to explore with kind of like a museum type rooms like Wind Waker has with that gallery but telling you more about the royal family just from statues or posters on the wall, anything really that allows you to learn more about them without having a huge wall of text and you get to work with them at the same time. I think the next Zelda game on the Wii U is the perfect, the perfect time to add more content about Hyrule, the royal family, NPC interaction, some sort of scheduling system, some sort of system so they're not just standing there. I think it's also a good idea to have it all optional because I know people that don't like side quests they just like to play the whole the whole main quest, main storyline, they're done so having all this all optional would be the best idea for everyone involved overall I'm 100% for more NPC interaction learning about the royal family more side quests to learn about their schedules, daily life, their customs, all that that this poster wanted, I agree with them. What do you think about a more Hyrule orientated game? Tell me in the comments below, would you like this idea or not? And I'll see you next week.